Good morning. What's today? Thursday? Happy Thursday morning. Okay. I'm Chris and my group is Find Your High Vibe. And I'm sharing in today's group, Turn Your Pain Into Power. And just before, one minute ago, um, so you keep notes on your phone. Oh, my phone. <laughs> you keep notes on your phone. When I started doing these two months ago, hey, two months, um, and it's Thursday, yeah, I guess that's eight weeks or nine weeks. When I started doing these, and I've done this before, where if a thought comes to my mind, I will put it, um, put it in my notes on, on my phone, right? Well, I started a specific note, Facebook Lives, and... So when something comes to mind, a topic or, you know, whatever, I write it down or put it in my phone. I just printed off that note, nine pages, nine pages. Can you imagine if I didn't get that out, what all that crap <laughs> would be in my head? So get it out. All the crap, like I mentioned before, that perpetual to-do list or concerns or whatever, write it down, get it out. And then if it's something uh, that requires action, decide, you're gonna take action or are you gonna let it go? Get the stuff out of your mind. So continuing from my story yesterday where um, I was working at a literary agency because I failed the bar and the universe led me right to that job, right to that job and it made sure I got that job. Um, I was surrounded by spiritual topics, spiritual people, authors, practices. These things were all around me and it just, it, it wasn't sinking in. And yesterday I said, you know, maybe it just takes the right words, the right person saying the right words at the right time. That's when it gets through to you. Like even advertising, right? Advertisers say you have to hear something how many times? I don't know how many times. Nine times before you really hear it and before you really think maybe you'll take action, make a decision if you're going to take action. So all that stuff was surrounding me for almost four years, but it didn't get through because my head was full of other shit. My head was full of, oh, I have to take the bar. I have to pass the bar. My life will be over if I don't pass the bar. Oh my God, what'll happen? What'll happen? What'll happen? I have to pass the bar. I have to pass the bar. Everybody I graduated with was doing their thing. Well, they already knew what they were going to do anyway. Um, <laughs> my head was so full of, I have to pass the bar. And my then boyfriend, boyfriend, fiance, John. Oh my God, I love him so much. Does he love me? I love him. Does he love me? I love him. Does he love that was what was in my head that entire time. And so I said, you know, then I passed the bar and we moved. And I left McBride. And, you know, I went and did other things. And John got his career started and I had some babies. <laughs> so you know, the universe kind of backed off, I think, and said, all right, we'll let her do this. And when it was time... What did I say that was? Eight years later? Well, I left in 2001. Yeah, eight years later. So I went and did some other stuff. And then, okay, now it's time. Here's the perfect example. Or here's the perfect opportunity for us to get through to her and get her going. So, you know, that was John, I think, when you're married or when, you're, uh, when you have these ties right? You kind of got to take turns a little bit. So, you know, I think I had my chance to pursue whatever. And then it was John's turn to kind of lead for a little bit, which was just getting his, his career started. Before I went to law school, I'm like, eh, kids, eh, whatever. The month I started law school, my mom had my younger brother <laughs> and I couldn't put him down. And I was like, Oh, maybe I will have kids. And then married John. And I was like, hey, how many kids do you want? 
And he said, four. And I said, good, me too. I was working in a law firm as a receptionist and everybody who had kids had four kids. Whoever had kids had four kids. And I thought it was so cute when they all came in together, the little group. And I was like, yeah, I want a little group too. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> Get the stuff out of your head. Meditation, writing it down, clearing your head so the other stuff can get in. All that crap that you're worrying about all the time, obsessing, holding on to so tightly, it gets in the way. Get rid of it. Clear your mind. Let some of the good stuff in. What's been trying to get in? Something's been trying to get in. I guarantee it. Everybody, everybody, the one person, no, everybody who sees this video, there's something that's been trying to get in. And if your mind is cluttered, and if you've got so much other, you know, big things fighting for attention in there, you're not going to see those things. Hey, Bethany, you're not going to see those things. So that little detour gave me some time to get crap out of my head. You know, I, we got married and I passed the bar, so it wasn't something I needed to obsess about anymore. And it let some other stuff in. So that's my tip for today, and I hope you all have a lovely Thursday. So take some time, get outside, get alone, write some crap down, clear your head for a little bit, okay? Take care.